Welcome to another edition of Boxbusters. I'm Brian. He's Chris. This is 2013 Panini Cooperstown. We'll do the slow motion. Released just about a couple weeks ago. Mr. Chris Olds is coming on his vacation to break some Panini. I was humming the Star Trek Enterprise. Duh. Why were you humming the Star Trek? Because it was a slow motion reveal toward the camera. This is like what I have first to deal with. This is what I have to I'm do. well rested after a day and a half off. A box topper. You or hanging out with your family, right? Day and a half. <laughs> yeah. This is my break. Ooh, this feels cool. This feels like now, a die cut now something. these are weird. I mean, uh, I'm not saying they're bad. They're just very different. Let's and see. I don't even technically know. I feel know. die cutty. Oh, this one doesn't. Uh-oh. This one's a what triangle. One? Yeah, mine's kind of triangle. Triangular. There was, okay, it's not these that are, that are weird then. There was, there was a different one. Oh, the, the, these are back. Okay. There we go. I think, weren't they smaller? Or were they this size? No, they're about that size. Oh, okay. All right. But there's, a... there's some kind of insert this year that looks like cigar bands. Uh, and I think they're the toppers. They look same. weird. Blue pennant of Tom You're just Seaver. like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I got, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I don't know if they're regular or toppers, but there's something where it's like this weird central seal with an oblong... There are people watching this screaming at us. Because you know, we should know, yeah. The answer. Casey Stingle, 1962 Mets. This is the Mets box. Whoa, throwing cards. What do we got here? 20 packs? No, that's 2013. <laughs> <laughs> 20 packs of 13. Yes, yes, exactly. 24 packs, six cards per. Yes. One autograph guaranteed per box. And, and a ton of inserts. And you're going to feel right on the top of the pack is an unusual card. Oh, those are the, uh, the, discs. the discs. I like the discs. Helmar. It's not Helmar. Uh, what do they call uh, it? We'll see here in a second. If they're on it. It's not on it. I forget what they're called. It's killing me. This is this is Colgan's. It's, Colgan's, it's the there it is. That's where you're right. There it is. This is more your territory, the yes. old school auction Ooh. pricing. I'm, I'm more the new stuff guy. Those are cool. I more like Huggins. Those. They are. They're, they're different. Well, you know what? I was on the record previously saying this border was a little too heavy for my taste. Mm -hmm. It looks a little better in person. There you go. See, you gotta give it a chance, Chris. Yeah, the, the Photoshop mocks and the handful of scans I saw seemed a little overwhelming. But these look good. At least the photographs do within the frame. Ooh, wow, and the back is really cool. It's a game highlight with a box score. That's cool. That's a lot of work. <laughs> Let's see here. That's a base card back. I'll show you a base card card front. So I, 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 see, I they do. There are the border is a little big, a little heavy, but it's not overwhelming. Yeah, they're they're, they're pretty balanced. Uh, the Crack Dice Parallels are here, yes. Michael Jack Schmidt being a parallel person, There's and one. the Cooperstown stat cards are also here, a little unusualness here. If that's a word. Is that numbers game? No, yeah. This, oh yeah, here's another numbers game. They just don't have his image on the yeah, card, probably go. a licensing thing yeah. or something like that. Hugh Duffy. So there you go, that's the variety of what you're going to find. I may be buying a box of this after there all. There you go. There you go. I, I, I was I was a little scared by the border, to, honestly. It seemed a little heavy to me in the, the couple of the images I had seen. I'll have to, you know, withhold and watch here for the photo selection to see how it really shapes up. Some lefty Grove. Here's a That's museum cool pieces. Hank Greenberg's 300 home run. Kind of cool to see these. <laughs> That's cool. Effa Manley, the first uh, woman in the Baseball Hall of Fame. She's the owner of one of the uh, Negro League teams. Probably doesn't have many cards. No, her, any. her first cards were in this set last year. There we go. Actual first ever, first, first cards. Ooh, I got another one here. I can feel them. Yeah. Uh, you know what? If they weren't glossy, I'd like these slightly more. Just, just the gloss, if it was maybe a slightly thicker cardboard, it would feel retro. More retro. I mean, the design is, no yeah. question. Bill Mazeroski. Ooh, I got two in this pack. Uh oh. High trainer. Different and back Joe or No, that's what I was looking at. No, nope, they're both the same. Ooh, that one's kind of got oh. a little damage. It must have gotten stuck. Stuck in the machine. There you go. There's a little bit of damage. Must have gotten stuck, but I'll take two of them. There, there we you go. go. How about an induction subset card? Actually, it's an insert card. Inductions. Eddie Clarence Murray. Rick Farrell. Pretty soon we'll see a Nicholas Thompson Swisher inductions card. Oh no, we will never see that. I know. Oh, look at this. This is the this is the Brian the pack. Fordham pack. Here you go, Rick Farrell, the only Hall of Famer to share a birthday with me. I there guess I go. share a birthday with him. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm sure he doesn't I'll, share I'll give with me. That one. I'll and then you. the Ford and Flash, Frankie Frisch. There yeah. we go. This was the Brian pack. I can one up you. Well, no, I really. doubt you can. This is a strong pack, though. A Colgan's of Lynn Nolan Ryan, just That's to keep using the name thing. And a card of Nolan Ryan's spikes from one of his no hitters. 
kind of cool. A goose goslin cracked ice out of 299. So let me go back and check my yeah, green check cracked ice. No, I don't think this is numbered. Okay, there must be a green and a regular or something. So there's the difference again. Bill Dickey, Cy Young, and Whitey Ford. So that was a pretty strong pack there. So no, it didn't have as much flash. Here's a, an early win induction insert. I guess uh, the theme of this is them giving their induction speeches or it, some, some, some picture of them at their induction. You know what you call a Texas Rangers victory in April? What do you call it, Chris? An early win. <sighs> Seriously. I just, that, that's Seriously. Just, that, was, that was spontaneous, like right there, boom, totally thought of it. You should have stayed home on your vacation. Oh, man. How about Carlton Fisk? There you go. Here's the weird looking card. Now, I thought that was a die cut. I like those. Okay, yeah, this, See, this was an issue I like last that. year. But, but I thought it was this with yeah. it's cut out as a topper. I think those it cool. might be. I think that's really cool looking. This is a, but as a die, imagine it just. Yeah, as a die cut. That yeah. could be crazy. Yeah. And it looks like a cigar band or something. Yeah. I don't know what it is, to tell you the truth. Those are cool. Uh, this is a, what are these even called? Lumber, Cooperstown Lumberjacks. And it's printed on wood, or a wooden surface, actual wood. It's got some texture. This is um, Jimmy Collins. Couldn't find his name on the back there. Too blind. <clears throat> also another first for me, a historic tickets insert. A polo grounds, let's see. October 7th, 1924. I should know this. I uh, guess Goslin should start here in the World Series. I should, there's probably something else that's. Got a Yastrzemski induction card and a Duke Snyder. Disc. The Hellmark, the little discs could, could be annoying down the line when you're trying to sort the cards. Oh, yeah. Unless like you sort them right now, like I do. You no, but like when you, you put them in a snap case to keep uh, them all out from rolling around. No, you, you put them in top you put pages. Them in the pages. Okay. Collect the whole set. Well, that's true. I mean, yeah. You do that. I like this photo of Lou Gehrig. It's a pretty strong image. Look, I, deep into I was just looking eyes. at that, too. That, that card. Yeah, it's Same a striking card. picture. Bill Dickey, Bill Mazeroski, here's a Stan Musial, cracked ice, green, cracked ice, not numbered. Yeah, there's, I don't know if, do, does it need, does, do, do we really need more than one cracked ice? Uh, we I, don't, I don't know if we really need any type of cracked, any type of it shiny out parallel too and any vintage. Yeah. I don't like the yeah. Topps Heritage Chrome, That's I know really they sell, nice I don't, you know, but whatever. I know why they put them in, I guess, you know, they're, they're hits. People right? like the shiny. They do like shiny, and we're in the minority, obviously, because they sell. We're the, the old guys out of touch or something. I guess. There's some three more oh, highlights Oh, I the just back. threw a Roger Brisbane. First guy to wear catcher's gear, catcher's I mask. So. I that believe that's right. his claim to fame. Among being, amongst being, what's the word? As well as being? Sure. Ooh, that's a cool one. That's kind of the, the generic Frankie You know Frankie what that reaction Frisch. was? That was a Frisch Flash. That was a Frisch Flash. That's kind of the generic Frank. Every Frankie Frisch picture, he kind of has the same look on his face. I, you know, I feel I, like I've seen that image was, like a million times. I was at Knicks the other day, and he had a bunch of old Fleer cards. And yeah, a 63. Fresh, I've got one. I've already got minty one, sir. Fresh for like four bucks. I almost like, bought it man, just to make you there jealous. You go. Here is a blue cracked ice of Rube Marquard. 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 Rube Marquard. Number four ninety nine, and my first autograph is your only on one. card. Yeah, I, probably my only uh, one. Maybe not though. Actually, last year there were boxes with two. Billy Williams, number two three thirty on card. I like these for the the Cubs fan. I mean, there was one thing last year that was a little. I mean, the, last year it was one autograph in most boxes. Some boxes offered up two, um, but uh, the hundred bucks for one autograph. They are all Hall of Famers. Mm -hmm. And they're all on card. So for and me, they're all that, number serial number. That was a risk worth taking, but you know, when you get a Raleigh Fingers box, it's not always, you know, a win. Yeah. Uh, I did get one of those, by the way. That's why that one came to mind. But uh, add, adding some of these other features, such as a blue there you go. cracked dice numbered out of four ninety nine. Now you like them. Helps make up the difference sometimes. You know, if you get one of those a Lou Gehrig cracked dice, and I think they're aren't there rare or parallels too, probably? Uh, the of what? The autograph, yeah, black, that's a black cracked dice or something. I believe so, yeah. Here's a Cooperstown Historic Ticket card oh, insert. It's a big unit. And a really cool, or I like these, man, these Hugh the Duffy. These are really cool. The big train, not the big unit. What the was I unit. thinking? The big. The big. A the couple big. years from now, the big unit will be in this Cooperstown set. For now, the big train. Frank Chance, not numbered. Jimmy Fox. 
What do you think about the, this year, the, the, the logo covering? It seems more comfortable this year. Yeah, no, I, was, I, was, I was thinking, I think it's easier, obviously, to do it with black and white photos and right. kind of the older stuff. Um, but like, I think they did a good job of this one feels a little awkward. Yeah, that one, that one just that's just, why I noticed in the the Marichal too. Yeah, it's just it the way like the picture <laughs> does look like the hat logo. But obviously, with the uh, the licensing limitations, they can use all the players. They just can't show any team logos. And to work around that, a lot of these are vintage um, pre logo caps. Mm -hmm. Some players back then didn't even wear logos on their uniforms. But then uh, sometimes they just cover the photo too. A Robin Yount. That seems all right. Different. Ty me. Cobb is a Carl Hubble Green. How about a red sparkle? Ooh. Out of three ninety nine. Yeah, I think there's two because the Ty blues Cobb. are at, blues are at a oh, four ninety nine. Hey. Maybe. Well, I wonder if they were. I wonder if they did or were planning to do the whole retail game. You know, red for Target, blue for Walmart. I know I they were know. talking about that with Prism. So I've got seriously. Look at this. I've gotten a whole rainbow of sparkle. And I'm not even halfway well, through the a, box. I got a gold here, number to 299 of that. Rogers Hornsby. You can tell I'm still on vacation. Tony Lazari. <clears throat> so Over. far, the Cooperstown Lumberjacks cool. cards are my favorite. Speaking of Fordham, Vince Scully. There you go. I'm impressed, Chris. You've, you've learned Segway. something. You've been listening to me for the last five years. Nah. Kind of. You pick up... His, card, his cards last year are this sold, so I should know. Yeah, the autographs. Yep. There are, I think, one or two colorized uh, insert cards per box, short prints. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Jim Rice, number Golly. 108. So two more. Two Be more. careful opening these because they're going to fly everywhere. Juan Marichal and Appalachia Way. Oh, they're kind of cool. I like that oh, one. Two more. That'll work. The, the weird part for me is seeing this retro style with, like, Robin Yount, new guys. Kind of he's still a Hall of Famer. No, I know. It just it throws he's me off. He's still new to you. He's probably old to a lot of people. He is. Which makes you, I'm sure, feel old. Thanks. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Harry Hooper. Is that who it is? Harry? Harry? Uh, uh, sure. Yeah, why not? Or Hooper X from uh, Chasing Amy. Gentrification! Stay tuned. Intergalactic Civil War. Stay tuned for more obscure references from Chris. Some people will like that one. Probably. The <laughs> next one will probably be from wrestling. <laughs> Uh, I'll work. I'll work on that. Hold on. <laughs> Find a wrestling reference. Uh, uh, you still got like thirteen yeah, packs over there. I got, I, so you got nothing you got in plenty that of opportunities. Nothing, I'll work on that. The the issue, the challenge was issue. Ooh, Ty Cobb. Now you can, I guess. I mean, they're they're. I they're just basic. Pack, against, are, are they? Am I, I finding them in every pack? I was gonna say because you could really search those. But I think yeah. you're right. I think but they are I'd, in every I'd pack. I'd rather have them be on top than in the middle where they yes. can bend the cards around them. It's the wizard. Wizard, uh, the Grand Wizard of Wrestling. He was the manager of uh, Superstar Billy Graham for a short time. And three people catchy. will get that reference. He was pretty good, actually. I mean, he's a big name. A very eccentric dresser. Just like you. <laughs> it speaks for itself. I'm cracking myself up today. I'm on vacation. He's getting it all. I'm he getting hasn't given me the rest of the week. He's getting I'm it getting it all, all out in this 20-minute video. Whitey Herzog. Okay, I got another Ty Wait, Cobb. I think whole, that's the third he's a one. Famer? Yes, I think recently. Probably for manager. Yes. I mean that that threw me off there a bit. No, it's only the second Cobb. I got two Cobbs back to back. I like this. Uh, I'll check that out. Napoleon Lajoie. 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 Looks like he's wearing a military uniform there. Something different. And speaking of something different, here is a tour of Japan. Uh, ticket stub, 1931. This one was among their preview images. It stood out. It's just. Pretty cool and different. And here's a incident. You got one? Huh. Oh, that's Cooper's new. Down. It's got Dominican Republic on it, so it's some sort of huh. hometown. Maybe those are rare. I don't know. It I is card number enough. seven. I wonder if it. Oops. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Oh, I'm sure it's in the neighborhood somewhere. Rick Farrell, Jimmy Fox, Jackie Robinson. Hey, look at that. That's cool. Monarchs uniform from cool. Jackie Robinson. That's a, that is, that's a nice inclusion. Jimmy Fox, number 498 of 499 on the... Right. They do have Negro League base. licensing on the back. Do they? they if it's do. Yeah, officially yeah, licensed logo. by the Negro League Baseball Museum. That's a good touch, because obviously this is the kind of set where there are a lot of players who are only in the Negro League. <coughs> yeah. And so that, that inclusion to show those logos, that works for me. Here is Bob Gibson. It'd be cool to see some, like, like Willie Mays played in the Negro League. Yeah, It'd be the, cool to see him in that uniform. Uh-huh. Here's another one that might mess you up. 
Bruce Souter, Red Sparkle. Hall of Famer. I got a George Brett. I know he's a Hall of Famer. That's a little. Even have you seen that yet? I have seen that. That is a fantastic card. Okay, it's the best sure card in the one. set. Frankie Frisch. The Ford and Flash. Did you earn that name with a trench coat or anything? What? No, I don't think so. Sure. Yes, it took, it took me a second. He to was get flashy on the bases. Yes, it took me a second. That was an obscure one. Cooperstown historic tickets. It felt this card felt thicker to it's me. Surface crazy just went. Yeah, bad. really. There goes that. What is this game? Giants and Brooklyn <laughs> Dodgers. Oh, this is Bobby Thompson. There we go. <sighs> oh, here we go. Wait, hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. There's no way you're going to let that card slide without referencing it. Let it go. He, he really wants to. Wow, this is, this, is a, this is a historic day. This needs to go to Cooperstown. This box break. It's impressive. How many? Oh, oh. Sorry. Here's another one. Satchel Page in a Monarchs jersey. I don't know if that was a, a, you know, understandable, but I said it. You had to get it out. I squeaked it. It took a minute. I almost conholioed. <laughs> See, there's a reference I get. How about a, a Warren Spawn Gold Sparkle right alongside the regular? Out of two ninety nine and out of more. I shall return. I'm Tony Lazeri, that's a cool shot. There's some good photographs here. The border, I mean, the border is a little still a little large for me. In the mocked up Photoshop version, for some reason it just seemed too heavy. Mm -hmm. But uh, overall, I think it, the photographs, everything seems pretty well balanced. It's cool. Mr. Satchel Page. There you go. Are these? Are there card numbers on them? Or are they? Or am I gonna have it's to probably put these on the alphabetical border alphabetical order? There's some. There's some small type up top. It's all licensing. My stuff eyes are on vacation like. though. Yeah, I don't think there's card numbers on here. Huh. huh. All right, they're gonna be alphabetized. That's how another way it's old school. There you go. Mine was a George Sisler, not Sizzler, but Sisler. Ooh. Huey Jennings. Hit these by are pitch. really cool. I like these. Which one? Those, oh, those yeah. lumberjacks. Yeah, yeah. John McGraw. You got two. I, I don't have an autograph or a second wood. And one of those yet. cool tour of Japan ticket yep, cards. Yep. That was good. Lou Brock. Nelly Fox, Lee Boudreaux, Tris Speaker. Wow, look at Catfish that. Hunter. In his Oakland A's uniform, appropriately. Mel Lott, Joe Morgan. I have four packs to go with an autograph and a wood card. And All right. Yogi Berra. Oh. Oh, another one of those Cooperstown cards. I haven't pulled one of those yet at all. Venezuela. You got the good box. Peru and Venezuela play tonight. Vamos Peru. Well, how about this? In the same box, Frankie Frisch Ooh. Blue. Actually, the same pack. And a Phil Necro Blue Ink autograph. Ah, Numbered out of three. Venter of the Necro Leagues. Really? I don't know. That's a stretch, but I'll, I'll give you that one. <laughs> that was good. It's not my line, but I'll, I'll claim it for this. Yeah, Phil Necro, he's not an expensive autograph, but had I bought the box, I would have been okay because I actually don't have him. Yeah. So, you know, he, I don't think he has a ton of autographs either. Tom Seaver. I haven't seen any in recent times, so. Cap Anson. Here's a Jim Bunning. Nat Blagway in his pajamas. Nice. Ozzy oh, Smith. Old yeah, that's, yeah, I showed that in one. In front, did yeah, you? Yeah, it, looks like you a, it almost looks like a Civil War uniform yeah. or something. It's very formal. Christy Matthewson with an unusual pose for a photograph from that era. Not what you would normally see on like a T206 kind of card. But speaking of T206s, how about that Ooh. familiar photograph? Honus Wagner. Honus Wagner. I, I, I haven't looked to see if they've announced any short prints for this brand. I believe there are. There's the colors, right? Or the col besides yeah. those, yeah. They, they did a few uh, other cards last year, if I remember yeah. correctly. Bill Dickey, red, you know, rainbow that color. That one really makes yeah, me feel old. Yeah, that does make me feel old, Mr. Dennis Eckersley, legend, Cooperstown. Wow. He's a Hall of Famer, but he, he only was... retired like 10 years ago, maybe. Was it? He was inducted in like 04, 05, because I lived in Texas. So back 99, then. 98, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, man. Home run Baker. Those A's guys look good in, uh, in green crackle. Except for back when he played the Jays, they didn't wear green. They wore like blue. They wore black and white, obviously. Oh, yeah, exactly. They wore sepia. They wore sepia. CP on the Look, road. Look, here's another one where I got two. So Man, I guess these, you can see where these, I, I mean, I can see where they might stick uh, a little bit. Q -E -Q. I kind of like this one, though. A Bowie Kuhn card. I don't know, he didn't have a lot of cards, does he? 
Herzog and Archie Vaughn? Uh, probably not. I only got one of these. You got two. I'm I did. Are you done? I am. Wow. This is a first. Brady this is Davis. another first. Chris actually beat. There's a young Mel Ott. Bruce Souter. I beat him. I'll let you talk, Chris. I've got uh, 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 Ty Cobb, uh, Red. I don't know. The, the, you know what's funny, though? As much as I don't like the sparkles being in the retros, I got a pretty good box when it comes to the sparkles. Let me pull it Yeah, they've here. grown on me the more I've gotten. Here's another one. Two. And these things stick together. So and that's actually, the, the multiple colors I like, too. It helps them stand out. It gives a little more variety to the box. It's great Eddie Murray hair. Oh, yeah. That. 1980s Eddie Murray so hair. Cool. Good. That's a good. That's a good reference. I can't think of the rest of the lyrics, so I was just trying to emulate the singing of the one keyword. Man, I have a lot of sparkles in here. Maybe you got the double coin box, and I got the extra sparkle box. No, you, you got. got looks like you got a lot of coins there, or coins. There. I didn't do doubles though. Colgan chip disc cards. I'm gonna do the quick <laughs> sort. There's Rod Carew. I know there's Jackson. Captivating. Here's a blue. Phil Rizzuto. So six greens, three blues, two reds, and two golds. See, I only got one gold, one red. And they're all Hall of Famers. Yeah. Okay. Because it's called Cooperstown. And yeah, there's Rhino for Trout. There you go. Ryan D. Sandberg. Joe Tinker. Named after Ryan Duran. Blues. There we go. Here's uh, William McCovey Red, Nolan Ryan, and Steve Carlton. So start off with a Tom Seaver, end with a Steve Carlton. That'll work. What do you think, Chris? Um, I mean, the, the design last year was pretty top-notch for me. I was pretty happy across the board. It probably is hard to emulate it, period, for me. Um, no matter what they would have done, it may not have compared as well to last year. I liked it that much. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing the autograph cards in person, I like them. I think they're on par with last year, and I think those are some of the coolest autograph cards I've seen in a long time, especially given their limitations. No logos, so they have to kind of be more creative. Mm -hmm. So some people may not like the kind of dramatic. I'll show this one, though, beside it. Sometimes it works better than others. This is a good example. This is maybe not as strong because it's more dramatically, you know, cropped. But it works to me visually and aesthetically. So I'm a fan of the autograph cards for sure. Uh, when you get a big name, Yogi Berra, that kind of a caliber name, yeah. it's a fun box. When it's a Phil Necro, a little tougher on the money side, but hopefully the variety of what you get inside the box. Yeah, it, it's, it's an experience. It. I mean, look at all right. the stuff we got. And like, right. like I think we both said, wasn't a huge fan of this these sparkle but they add a lot yeah to the they mix. do and it's a nice rainbow here you get that's kind of cool Got the chromies yeah even though it is numbered to like what 499 399 right. like the, the numbering does matter it's a nice nice they look nice and, yeah. you, and you got a nice little rainbow here i love these these are awesome and i even like those too even though i probably got double what i should because some of them were how many i get 21 21 i got one extra Shh. oh no 21 out of 24 so they weren't unless i didn't but i didn't See, I, I didn't have, have double packs though. I don't think there were some packs where I didn't get one because every one I seemed to get, they all flew out of the pack when I opened it. Well, hold on, I might have got one, two, three, four. You were watching six, live seven, coverage. Eight, nine, Chris ten, Holmes 11, County. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I got shorted. You got three. shorted, but you were getting them doubled up. I was getting doubled up. Okay, this is so a weird box for these. Pack, yeah, right? about one per pack. Um, I like those. I really like these lumberjack cards. I'm not big on the wood cards. Oh, they're so awesome. I don't understand why people. The last year they loved. The, they wanted and they didn't get them. And they they just look cool. I think those look cool. I don't like them. They look for me. But I like them. Okay. So That's fine. I think I can do that. Uh, I think we like it. I think we yeah we, we do. We like it. We've, it's hard not to like the best players in the history of the game. Period. Mm -hmm. So right there, that helps bring some some uh, some freshness to the table, even though they're not new guys. Yeah. Just a new look at. All big name, big old names from the past. So, what do you think? Colgan's chips cards and the wood cards. Do you like them? Tell us below. I like Billy. And he likes. Offer Billy. Who's that? Offer Billy. Billy Williams. You like Billy Williams? Let us know that too. So, I think we like it. So go out and buy a box or two or three or send us some. Right? Awesome. All right. Until next time, I'm Brian. He's Chris. We'll see you.